Two days ago, the Biden administration became the first administration since the beginning of the Iraq War to support repealing the authorization for the use of military force in Iraq, passed in 2002 and now in effect for 19 years. The Iraq War has been over for nearly a decade. An authorization passed in 2002 is no longer necessary in 2021. It's been nearly 10 years since this particular authorization has been cited as a primary justification for, milita for a military operation. It no longer serves a vital purpose in our fight against violent extremists in the Middle East. So, Mr. President, I strongly and fully support repealing the 2002 authorization for the use of military force in Iraq. This is the first time I'm formally announcing my support for repeal. I want to be clear. In no way will America abandon our relationship with Iraq and its people as they rebuild their country after years of war and our shared fight against ISIS. But there are very good reasons to repeal this specific legal authority. For example, it will eliminate the danger of a future administration reaching back into the legal dustpin to use it as a justification for military adventurism. At the beginning of last year, we saw that danger become frightfully real when President Trump ordered an airstrike against an Iranian target in Iraq without transparency, without proper notification to Congress, and without a clear strategy. President Trump cited the 2002 AUMF as partial justification ex post facto, a claim that legal scholars and foreign policy experts resoundingly rejected. There is no good reason to allow this legal authority to persist in case another reckless commander-in-chief tries the same trick in the future. Tomorrow, the House of Representatives will vote on whether to formally repeal the authorization. Next week, Chairman Menendez and the Senate Foreign Relations Committee will mark up a resolution led by Senators Young and Kane, which will repeal the Iraq War AUMF. It is my intention as Majority Leader to bring this matter to a floor vote this year, and we will discuss the precise timing with Chairman Menendez.